The release is right around the corner, but surprisingly enough, info is still pretty limited, but we gathered up seven things you need to know about Outlast 2. Starting off with number seven, let's talk about the story and setting a little bit. You play as cameraman Blake Langerman, who's working with his wife Lynn as investigative journalists trying to dig up a story on a pregnant, murdered, random mystery woman. The search for answers lands them deep in an Arizona desert where they become separated and Blake lands himself in a village of cultists who believe they're experiencing some sort of end of days led by a cult preacher by the name of Sullivan Noth. It is worth noting that the game takes place in the same universe as the original Outlast and Whistleblower DLC and serves as an indirect sequel while featuring a different locale and characters. It has been hinted and implied that important things from the original game and expansion may be referenced here, so you might want to pay attention. And at number six, you should expect more open outdoor environments in Outlast 2, but don't get it twisted, okay? This isn't an open world game. But by taking the game to a more open, desert-like experience, the lead creator of the game intends it to instill the opposite effect. You shouldn't feel like you have this open area that everything's going to be easy. The theme in Outlast 2 is larger environments intended to inspire more anxiety and uncertainty. Being chased down a hallway is one thing, but being hunted down in a wide open environment while exposed can be a different type of gameplay stress. Wandering endlessly through cornfields actually looks to be way scarier than you'd expect judging from the Outlast 2 demo. While the original Outlast made you feel helpless, the developers intend to mentally break you down in this one. That's what they actually said. Judging from that demo released last October, there are even elements of the supernatural here, but that really begs the question, is this in the main character's mind or is something more sinister going on here? And at number five, we threw this in because it's funny and hey, if you like to burn money, go ahead with this. The developers of Outlast 2 Red Barrels made a Kickstarter in November 2016 for a companion diaper for Outlast 2. Because apparently the game is so scary you'll shit your pants or something. Yep, that's a thing that they actually were marketing. For $40, you could have actually gotten a special diaper designed for Outlast 2 and a digital copy of the game. 21,000 Canadian dollars were pledged, but it did not meet its goal of $40,000. But even still, $20,000? What the hell? Some people spent $20,000 on video game diapers for a horror game? I, I don't know. But moving on to number four, the gameplay in Outlast 2 is similar to the original Outlast in its simplest context of hide and seek. It's all about getting through without getting caught and killed by sinister people while managing the battery life on your camera, which is the only way you're actually able to see in the dark. The developers straight up have made it so there's more places to hide now, whereas in the original, you'd normally hide under a bed or a cabinet. Now you can hide behind way more objects or even in bodies of water, which they said in their intent is to create a more contextual creative experience. The artificial intelligence is said to have gone through a complete overhaul in the game which is nice so enemies should behave differently than in the original game. If you got used to the enemies in the original game don't expect these enemies to be following the same paths or having the same behavior. Also the video camera thing is still there night vision and all but now it has a flashlight attachment and battery management is still going to be your top concern. And at number three, in case you missed it, Outlast 2 will be released in Australia following some controversy. Outlast 2 was initially refused rating classification by the notoriously strict Australia censors because of sequences of, and I quote, implied sexual violence, and describes some pretty messed up sexual horror stuff. But later on, it turned out that there was an issue with the publisher sending the wrong video to the classification board, and the apparent mix-up actually led to a mistake, and then Australia changed its mind and allowed to release the game with an 18 plus rating. Now, I raise my eye about how it was really passed, but hey, now Aussies can get their hands on the game. And at number two, they're releasing a physical edition of the game with Outlast, Outlast Whistleblower, and Outlast 2. It's called Outlast Trinity, and you get a physical edition with nice box art if you're that big of a fan of the series. I say series, but the game isn't even really a series yet. But hey, some people are really big fans. The original Outlast is worth experiencing, but that Whistleblower DLC add-on is a crazy hellish experience with some stuff you wouldn't expect to see in a game. So it might be worth checking out if horror games are your thing. But at number one, let's talk about the release details. For PS4 owners, Outlast 2 is going to have a PS4 Pro mode with better shadows and textures. And on PC, because it's an Unreal Engine 3 game, the specs can scale decent to a lower-ish end PC. The minimum is an i3 or equivalent, a gig of video RAM, and four gigs of RAM. We have no idea whether the game is actually going to be good or not, but we hope it is. Outlast 2 is going to release on April 25th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Those are the things you need to know about Outlast 2 before it releases. Like I said, there's not a ton of information out there, but now at least you got the main gist of the game in case you didn't know, but let's talk about anything Outlast to you down in the comments. Did you play that demo that released in the fall? What'd you think about it? Were you a fan of the original game or not? Some people were really mixed about it, but there's some diehard fans out there, but whoever you are, we want to hear from you down in the comments. If you came around, thanks for clicking the like button. We really appreciate it. And if you're new, subscribing is a good idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.